Today I'm going to show you how you can insert text or images to a specific part of your video and during a certain time. We're going to be using Canva and everything is going to be completely free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Muñoz and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn everything about Canva. Today we are going straight to canva.com and we are going to start by selecting a video doc type. So when you are in the home page, you will see these different icons. Go to the video one so you can open all the different video doc types available in Canva. And we're going to be selecting a video doc type because in order to insert text or images to our videos we will need to have access to some video editing tools that are available in this specific doc type. So I will go for the first option that says 1920 by 1080. Here we are in the Canva editor and I already uploaded the video that I want to use for this project. So I will go to the uploads section. Here you have images, videos and audio. So I will find my video under the videos tab. This is the video that I want to use today. So I just need to drag it to my empty page. And if you want to upload your own video, you can do it by clicking on upload media, or you can also record yourself directly from Canva using this button that says record yourself. And before we start inserting the text and the images to our video, I just want to mention that all the steps that I'm going to show you are pretty simple, pretty easy to follow, but I suggest you stay until the end of this video because you may have some questions that I will be answering throughout the video. So I guess it is better for you guys to watch the whole video and then if you still have questions, you can leave them then. Okay, so let's start. Here I would like to find the specific part of the video in which I want to insert my text. So I can do it by just clicking on the play button or by just moving this guide that we have over here. So I can do it by clicking on the play button. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert text. Okay, so here when I mention text and move my hand like this, I want my text to appear. So somewhere here, it's the place where I want my text to appear. When you have your guide in the right place, right click and then split. Now we will want to play again and find the specific part of the video where you want your text to disappear. Text or... Okay, so I guess this is the perfect location where I want my text to disappear. And then again, right click split. This is the specific length or the specific duration in which my text will appear. Now I will go to the left menu and select text to insert a heading. Here I have my text and in order to customize the text that is inside this text box, just double click and write your text. If you want, you can also change the font, the size, color, and even add some effects and animations. So I will do that. I will change the font to Montserrat. You can also use the effects available in Canva. All of these are completely free. So you can just check them out by clicking on top of them. And I guess I will go for the hollow effect. Now I would like to preview how this is looking. So I will go to the beginning of my video and click on play. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert text or images to it. Okay, so this is perfect. I will just add an animation for you guys to see how it looks. So just click on animate after clicking or selecting your text box. And here you can select any of these animations available over here. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can also access these animations at the bottom, which have the crown label. Okay, so I guess for this specific project, I will go for the ascend animation and let's see how it looks. Let's go again to preview. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert text 
or images to a specific part of your video. Okay, so this is looking perfect. We have the text already in our video. And now let's insert our image. So my image, I actually want it to appear after the text disappears. So this will be the moment where my image will appear. And then I want it to disappear somewhere here when I move my hand. So somewhere here, I right click and split. Now this section is the place where I want to insert my image and I click on it in order to insert the image. You have to make sure that you are on top of this little section and you will see it because it has this purple outline. Okay, now let's go to upload because I'm going to use one of the images that I uploaded recently to my account. So it is this one right here. You can of course use any of the photos available in the Canva library or also you can use any element, even animated elements if you want. In this case, because my image, I think it's not going to look very aesthetic if I just leave it like that. I don't even see my hand behind the photo. I will use a frame to crop my image in a nice shape. So let's go below um, in the elements section and let's go to frames. Click on see all and here you have a bunch of different frames with different shapes and different styles so make sure that you check them out and select the frame that you prefer. So in this case I will go for this frame which is a square but it's kind of like an organic square, it's not a perfect square and I will just drag my image inside the frame. If you want to adjust the image inside the frame just double click and move your photo so it fits better the frame. Okay so I have my photo here, I can adjust the size, I can even rotate it, position it over here and then I think I'm going to preview again my video to make sure that everything is moving correctly or it has the perfect length. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert text or images to a specific part of your video and Okay, so I think this is looking great. Let me just go back here. I think I will do some adjustments to my text box and also I will add an animation to my photo. So let's click on top of the photo and here you will see again the animate feature on this toolbar. So click on it and here you will be able to apply also a different animation to this specific image. So I will add the pan option or the pan animation to my image and I think I will come back to my text to change the effect to make it pop even more. So I will go for splice actually. I will remove the offset and then change the color that is inside the text. You will see that at the moment it has a gray color so I could go for white or maybe a yellow so it stands out even more and for the thickness of the line maybe let's make it even bolder so i think this is going to pop up or have a better contrast with the background of the video one last thing that i want to show you is how to insert music to your videos because maybe some of you don't know how to do this and it could be something that you can add and make your video even more interesting so on the left hand side you will see audio. If you don't see this option over here, just go to more and try to find this option. Open the audio category and here you have a music library. You see that I have a couple of options that are available for free but I would say that the majority are for Canva Pro users. Even though if you really love one of these songs and you have a Canva free account, you can select the song and then at the end you will have to pay for the license of this specific song if it has the pro label. In this case, because I said at the beginning of the video that everything was going to be free, I will select a free track so you can preview or hear the song before inserting it to your video by clicking on the play button. Okay, so I think I like this one, but let's check the other two options that I have over here. 
I think this is too much. <laughs> and this one is super famous. I know that a lot of people like this one, but I will go for the first option. So if you want to insert this track to your video, just click on the title of the track. And now I have the music or the track inserted into my video. We see the video track below our video track. And in this case, because my guide was in this position, the song or the track started from here. But if you want your song to start from the beginning of your video, just drag the music track until the beginning of the video and it will start at the same time as your video. So you can preview your video and make sure that you can still hear yourself and that the music is not too loud or too overwhelming. So let's play. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert... Okay, so I think the song it's a little too loud because we want people to be able to hear me, right? So click on the track and then go to the volume option or button and reduce the volume. This will allow us to still hear the video or the voice and have the track as background music. Big part of your video and during a certain time. Okay, so I think this is looking good. Let me just check again the beginning of the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert... Okay, so I also want to adjust a little bit the song here because at the beginning of the track there is not much going on. There is an empty space in the track, let's say, in which we don't hear anything, but I want the music to start at the beginning of the video. So by double clicking on the music track, I can actually select a specific section of the song. So I guess this is right. This is what I want and I have my video ready. And before showing you how to download this video, I would like to read the comment of the week. This comment is from Uresti and it says, awesome, you explain everything so clearly and have great aesthetic sense. Thank you. I'm learning a lot every week with you both. Canva with you is more approachable than ever. So yeah, I really wanted to thank you for this beautiful comment. And this comment was left in the liquid transitions video so if you want to learn how to create these liquid transitions in canva you can watch the video that i'm going to leave you guys over here and also if you found this tutorial helpful you can leave your comments over here because we will be reading you guys here we are back in the canva editor and you have already made all your changes you are happy with your video and you are ready to download it so to do this go to the navigation bar on top, click on this arrow pointing down, select file type mp4 video and then make sure that you have all the pages selected. So all pages done and download. And this is the final outcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert text or images to a specific part of your video and during a certain time. And before finishing this tutorial, I want to show you guys here this post that we publish in the community tab on our channel in which I share with you guys 30 templates for Canva Pro users. If you were one of those that want to access these templates but don't know how, at the end of the carousel you have this QR code that you can scan in order to access all the templates. If you don't know how to scan the code or you are using your phone and you cannot really scan it, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video so you can access all these Canva Pro templates. And if you want to get more new Canva templates, I'm going to leave you guys my Canva profile over here so you can follow it. And if you want to keep learning about Canva or video editing using Canva, you can watch these two tutorials over here. I think this is it for today. Today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!